All right, guys, we're here with Tommy Milner from Corvette Racing. Uh, welcome to Oversteer TV. Thanks for having me. Oh. Um, this has been a quite a year for you. I guess this has to be the the high the high point of so far of your short racing career. Uh, you're still quite a young man. Um, you left BMW, uh, one of the top teams, and moved to probably the most iconic name in sports car racing in the United States. Um, how did basically how did it happen? How did you leave BMW and then all of a sudden was it just a phone call one day? Yeah, something like that. I I. Uh... As the, as the sort of the, the off season went on, this last off season, um, things kind of carried on for a while, and I eventually got a phone call from uh, from Doug Feehan at at, at Corvette there, and uh, he asked if I, if I was available, and at that point I was, and so uh, that's sort of how everything kind of started there. And um, uh, with BMW, the, the their their plans for me for this year sort of weren't what they were in the years past and what I was expecting, so um, everything sort of fell into place uh, pretty well there. I mean, I. For sure, got an opportunity with Corvette that I couldn't turn down, and um, so far it's been a great decision. <laughs> um, what, what's what's it been like racing for a factory team, basically like Corvette, probably the top team in America Le Mans history when you think about it? Yeah, I mean it's it's been great from from day one. The whole team, everyone at GM, has has welcomed me, you know, with 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 open arms, and and uh, you know, you could tell that they really wanted me as a part of the program, which was a great feeling. And uh, I mean, it's been like you said. I mean, Corvette Corvette's dominated sports car racing in their classes over the last ten years, essentially. And they've been the team to beat, that you know, the the car to beat. And so to get an opportunity an opportunity to drive for them, to, to, to drive for that car, to drive for that program, you know, in a year like this year with with Chevrolet's hundredth anniversary, um, you know, it's all sort of special things. And then you know, what but what stuck out in my mind was to go to Le Mans um, and have a shot at winning Le Mans. I mean, for me. Growing up around around sports car racing, Le Mans is the biggest the biggest race you know for me in the world. Um, so when I started the season and, and to see that race and and uh, as as part of the program and to know that I have you know would have an opportunity uh, to, to at least compete for the win there, uh, you know, was something that was uh, very you know important to me and and exciting and. As luck would have it, you know, we, we we win the race the first year and and with Corvette, which was uh, more than I expected. Um, you know, I didn't sort of I didn't expect for my first year with Corvette to, to get that win, but um, but I, I I sort of figured that you know we had a chance, and that was sort of all that that I was kind of hoping for, and and uh, we got that win, and it I mean that that was really really you know a special moment and a cool moment for me. Um, with my first year with Corvette and had my dad there to, to, to be a part of that was was very cool. Um, let's let's stick with the whole Le Mans story here. Um, you've raced BMW, you go to Corvette, you've been running your races, and then all of a sudden you go to Le Mans, which is for for a driver is that like a whole different ball game, the whole twenty four hour thing compared to even like a twelve hour race like Sebring or the other sprint races you do? Do you have to adjust mentally, or you just you just go in as basically the same attitude? I'm just going to race hard and do my thing. Yeah, I mean it's it's Le Mans is definitely different just because the whole it's a whole week long process. You know, you've got the the scrutineering on on Sunday, Monday, and you've got the drivers' parade on Friday, and the atmosphere there is like no other race uh, in the world that I've been to. It's uh, it's you know that that part right there adds to you know adds to the sort of the whole event you know and the pressure that it, that, that you kind of put on yourself for the race. Um, so having done Le Mans twice before this year with Corvette definitely helped me a little bit this year just to kind of know what to expect, know sort of the pressures involved with with Le Mans. Um, but I mean. For, I mean, for, so Le Mans is definitely special in that way. It's got its own, um, its own character, its own identity, sort of that makes that just for the fact that it's 24 hours alone is tough. But Le Mans is the biggest sports car race in the world. Um, that's that just makes it that much more sort of difficult mentally, especially. Um, uh, so you know, you once you kind of get in the race, though, you you focus on the things that you you know have have done. In my case, my whole, my whole career, you know, just trying to trying to stay focused on on the race, um, and and not sort of thinking about how big this race is. So, um, you know, once I got into the race, you know, I don't I don't think about you know this is probably my biggest race of my career to this point, 
and uh, there's lots of big GM, you know, executives here here watching us. You know, I don't think about all these things. I just think about you know my task at hand, which is basically is go as fast as possible and not make any mistakes. Um, but definitely when I when I my last stint in the car there. I started, you know, my, my brain sort of starts to wander a little bit and starts thinking about some of those those pressures that are sort of outside the racetrack and, and being a part of this team. Uh, and and uh, luckily I was able to sort of put those out of my mind just long enough so that at the end of my stint I was done. And then the last hour there is when I started thinking about, you know, that's pretty cool to lead a Lamar. You know, we've got an hour to go. You know, I was the one in the car to make the pass for the lead. Um, then all those things that and and to be at Le Mans with Corvette on their hundredth anniversary and all these things now okay now now this feels like a really really big race so once I let myself sort of you know unwind then then it really kind of overcomes you a little bit how how big this race is. Well, you talk about okay you you won Le Mans in fact you like you said you made the pass for the lead and everything and then because the way the American Le Mans set up especially in your class you come back to Lime Rock. And really, not your fault or anything. You guys have, you know, for lack of a better term, a terrible race because of the accident and stuff like that. And you're battling with your former team. Um, right now, do you consider the class you're running in, the American Le Mans, probably the premier road racing class going? Yeah, I mean, I, I think if, if you look, in, 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 for GT cars, I think there's no other class in the world right now that has the competition. Uh, the level of drivers, the teams, the whole package that we have right now in the LMS and GTE is like no other other class in the world, and and it's in some ways frustrating. I've been racing in the LMS since 2006, and I haven't won a race yet. I finished on the podium a number of times now over the last couple of years, haven't gotten a win yet. But I know that I'm racing against you know the best drivers. I mean, all all my teammates have all either raced or tested a Formula One car, and that's often the case for a lot of the guys in my that I'm racing against. Um, so I know that I'm I'm competing against the best, and it's a good sort of measure for my for my for myself to sort of see sort of where I stack up, um, sort of in the world of motorsport in some way. So um, I feel like I'm doing the right things, and I'm I'm on the right teams, and I'm you know especially now with Corvette, you know, on the right team. I've got great teammates. I've got a great team. You know, I just I mean, as of th this year so far, we've been Sebring was a great race for us. Long Beach wasn't wasn't quite so good. We had to start from the back. So we're just, I mean, we're doing all the right things. We just have to sort of get some luck. I mean, we have some great luck, Lamont, and we need some of that to kind of carry over now to the to the LMS here. Um, and so we can, you know, we got our podium at Sebring, which was which was great for me for my first race to get that podium. But you know, my my, my eyes are focused on getting a win now, and and that's, you know, seconds and third and thirds are great. It's great for the for the championship. But me personally, I wanna I wanna get a win bad. Okay. Well. Wanting that win, like all drivers want to win, what do you think it's going to take, especially in this class, the American Le Mans? What's it going to take to get you that win? It's going to take a 100% perfect race, and that's that's really what it comes down to. For every every car that wins these races in the LMS is a race that's basically perfect. They've done made, you know, made no mistakes in the pits, no mistakes in the racetrack. They've had a fast car. You know, and that's and 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 dealing with traffic. You know, if if you can put a whole race together, you will be in contention for the win for sure. And um, you know, so far this year, we've we've done ninety five percent of the things right. We've had a couple little issues here and there. Um, you know, me personally, I'm still sort of getting used to the Corvette a little bit. I there's still I feel like I still have you know potential in myself driving wise and 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 potential in myself knowing how to get the, the most out of the car. Um, so there's still little bits here and there I think that I can improve on, um, you know. But it, again, it's just a matter of making sure that 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 I do everything that I, that I can to run a perfect race, and I know that that all all the guys in Corvette Racing are doing that as best they can on and off the racetrack. So it's just if if we had a, if we had if we had the race we had at Long Beach, um, you know, in almost any other series, I think that that we we would have won the race. We we did almost everything right. We had a great race. We just we're just a little bit off, and uh, so you know I think that that just shows how competitive it is. That you know if you don't have a perfect race, two or three other cars will have pretty much a perfect race, and then you're basically racing them for you know for the win at the end. All right, um, one last question. As a driver, I'm sure you, you, at the beginning of the season you look at the schedule and you you 
think about the different tracks you're going to be going to. With the rest of the season you have left with the American Le Mans, is there any track you can point to and say, yeah, that's the one I think I'm going to win. That's the one that's going to be my baby. Well, the one that's on my mind is Baltimore. I'm, I'm, I'm from, I was born in Washington, D.C. I grew up in the area. Um, that would be the one that I want to win the most for sure. Uh, you know, I'll have lots of family there and friends. So that, that's, 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 my, that's my target for my win. Um, but I mean, we're, we're in this sort of stretch now where we have basically a race and then a week off and then, you know, for the next six, or seven weeks here. So we're, we're sort of in our, our season now in the LMS. And if we can get a good result here, I think that will definitely help carry us for the next couple of races. But, um, you know, a win at Baltimore would mean a lot to me for sure. All right, Tommy, I know you're really busy up there in Mosport. you got to get back there on the track. Um, Tommy Milner, thanks for being on Oversteer TV. Thanks for having me. All right, take care. Good luck out there. Thanks, man.